Hey Deployment Insider, quick question. If you're upgrading from MSI-based Office to the click to run version, but it's not only about Office, there are also Project Visio in your environment and you're dealing with five different language packs, how many installation packages do you have to build and how often must the installation process run to finish an upgrade to the new version? Three, five, eight? In this video, I will show you how you can do this with just one installation package. Let's go. Welcome back. So today we will cover the following scenario. You are upgrading from MSI-based Office to the Microsoft 365 apps. Some of your users have Project, some of your users have Visio, and they should get Visio and Project again, but of course you don't want to install it for everyone. And to make it more complex, you're supporting multiple languages, and there are different combinations of these languages out there. So it's not the same set for every user, but it is very individual. Um, and instead of crafting installation packages for all these different components, one for Office, one for Visio, one for Project, one for each language, and then trying to daisy chain them together or trying to group them and target them at the right set of users, we will craft a configuration XML, which is instructing the Office deployment tool or the Office setup engine to install automatically the matching set of products and languages as they have been on a machine before. And we will do this in three steps, uh, create a base a configuration XML, then modify this XML uh, for some basic scenarios, as well as some advanced scenarios, and then integrate this XML into your existing deployment solution. So let's get started with step number one, creating the base configuration. For this, I switch to the configoffice.com slash deployment settings webpage, which gives you an easy way to create your, your base installation. So I will only call out a few important pieces here. So select your office suite, which are most likely Microsoft 365 apps for business or for enterprise. And then select the Visio installations, uh, uh, Visio and project installations that you want to deploy to a subset of users. So in my example, I go with the Visio subscription uh, for my users, but let's say for project, I don't have a subscription. I have perpetual licenses. So for example, the uh, project standard 2019 volume license, and then I can adjust my uh, update channel or the applications I want to deploy. Uh, when it comes to languages, uh, pick the one, two, three languages that everyone should get. So if there is kind of a baseline, in my case, everyone should get the English version installed. Just select this. We will add uh, the dynamic languages and later on uh, go with the default installation in my case. And then when it comes to the section update and upgrade, make sure that this toggle is on to uninstall previous MSI versions and also enable this toggle that for the uninstalled versions of MSI, we will install the same languages for the new click run based applications. So I will go with the uh, defaults for the remaining settings and then just export the configuration XML and open it in your favorite editor. So that's step number two. Let's open the configuration XML and see what we have here. Uh, so I will add a few lines to um, make it easier to read. So the first section instructs the setup engine to install the Microsoft 365 apps for enterprise um, with the English language pack. And also, as we have specified, to match the previous MSI. So the command remove MSI down here, we instruct the setup engine when you run, first install all previous versions um, of Office and other products which are MSI based, like Project Visio, <clears throat> Office of course, but cache the information which uh, what was on the box and we will use um, this cached information to then add additional languages. So if there was German on the box before, this information will be uh, matched or uh, cached and then during installation of the new product we would install the Microsoft 365 apps in English as well as German because this 
was uh, on the box before. Okay, the next section is to install Visio in the same manner. And then we have one section on project perpetual version uh, as well in English and matching the previous MSI. So in its current state, this configuration in XML will always install these products. So let's make it uh, more dynamic. Let's add a statement which is called MSI condition equals and there we can put in the MSI codes of Visio installations. So now the statement um, has a condition. So if the remove MSI process have uninstalled one of these products, which are Visio standard, Visio standard retail, uh, generic Visio, or Visio professional or Visio professional retail, only then trigger the installation of the subscription version of Office in the given languages. So this now makes it dynamic or automatically adopting or adapting to the version, uh, to the scenario. And we can do the same for a project. So again, add the statement MSI condition and then get some MSI codes. And now we have done the same for project. If there was a project standard or a project standard retail on a box or a pro or pro retail on a box before, only then install project standard 2019 volume versions, uh, volume version in the given languages. And we can uh, copy paste and modify these statements to cover more scenarios. So with the current um, configuration XML, if a user currently has a project pro um, on the box, we would install project standard. So we can easily modify this to be more specific and address scenarios uh, very specifically. So let's copy this statement and then remove the MSI codes for project pro from the standard section. So now it says if, you've, if there was project standard before in the box, INSO project standard 2019 perpetual in a box. And then we can modify this one to say install project professional 2019 volume only if there was project pro on the box before. So now we are doing a like for like replacement, one for one replacement. But the MSI condition command is not only limited to uh, Project Visio, you can basically use any product ID um, which is known to the click run engine and I will put a link into the description for a list of all the product IDs. And in MSI condition, you can put any MSI code that is out there in for uh, checking this. So let's uh, do, do an example of this. Let's say I want to install the excess runtime for all my users which had access or the access runtime before. I disabled um, that access gets deployed to all my users, but maybe some, some of my users are entitled to use access. So at least they should get the access runtime retail as a default if they had it before, or maybe if they had access before. Um, of course, then we don't need the uh, product ID and regarding project, uh, so when we switch or change the statement from project standard to project pro, of course, the product ID uh, is a different one. You can look this up in our documentation or just recreate the configuration XML with a different product and you will, you will automatically see the different product IDs, which are basically telling um, the installation. In this case, it's a, a KMS activation, so install the product and when it's launched, search your KMS uh, key uh, server and activate from there. All right, so now we have a very dynamic, automatically adjusting uh, configuration XML, which will always install the Microsoft 365 apps, but then the installation of Visio subscription, uh, Project Standard, Project Pro, or Access Runtime is dependent 
from if or on if this was on the box before. And uh, same goes for the languages. We will combine uh, the same languages which had been on the device before and not go always with a, with a fixed set. So if you're using um, Microsoft Intune for deploying the apps, you can just copy the content of the configuration uh, file and go into your uh, Intune uh, portal, go to the Microsoft 365 apps, and then when you configure the app suite, we can switch from the configuration designer to entering the XML data, and then we can just paste the XML data here, hit validate, and then uh, deploy your, your app as normal. So no changes here. When you're dealing with a uh, configuration manager, so you want to use a Microsoft configuration manager to deploy this application, I suggest an additional change in the configuration XML. Because when you use the built-in wizard uh, to build your application and you choose uh, English US, it will automatically download this um, language pack and put it onto your distribution points. <clears throat> but your distribution points then only have the base install and the English language pack on there. So if our command match previous MSI finds, for example, a German language pack, this is missing from the distribution point and it will not get installed. So we can add a command, which is allow CDN fallback equals true to the configuration XML. Now we are uh, instructing the setup engine or the office deployment tool. If there is, uh, if you want to install a language and the source files are not on the distribution point, you're allowed to fall back to the CDN to grab this missing language pack directly from your office CDN. Everything else is coming from the distribution point. So we are combining these two sources. So for configuration manager scenario, um, I highly recommend to add this statement into your configuration XML as well. Then uh, save the file, go into the source of your application and just swap out the existing configuration XML with the one we have just created, resync to your distribution points and you're ready to go. If you use other solutions uh, like third party solution or you're scripting the hell out of it, um, it's basically the same process. I get rid of the existing configuration XML, replace it with this one. You can go with the same source files. The source files will include everything which is needed for the products like Visio Project. They are always included. So no need to re-download these source files and then uh, go, go on with your deployment and uh, deploy this one package. There will be just one installation pass uh, for your user, so it will install all these products in one pass. So it's not like three, four uh, times that you disrupt the user, it's just the upgrade process disrupts the user only once. And then they should have the same combination of products and languages as they had before. If this video was helpful for you and you like this kind of content, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, give us a like if you have any questions about MSI condition or you have comments or, or specific questions. Um, we would like to get your feedback, so put it down um, below the video into the comments or reach out to us directly through uh, some social um, or different uh, social media channels. And then until next time, keep on deploying.